Good morning. Good morning. Are you cold? Yes, it's freezing. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Almost seven. Just refilling some bottles of water so we can drink them today. All right, so the official temperature this morning is 46 degrees. That's pretty cold. Okay, it's August 10th. It's 7.20 in the morning. We're leaving our campsite here in Newberry. It is freezing this morning at 46, but a clear day. We're gonna go head to the caldera, check out some of that, and then we're gonna be probably going east and to the south and over into Idaho. We are headed to Paulina Falls. Paulina Falls. Yes, we don't know anything about it. We don't know where the water comes from or anything. Well, there's a lake, and then it comes in the lake, but we don't know where all the water comes into the lake from. Exactly. The lake looks like it's isolated, and it's dry as a bone up here. And we don't see any rivers going in it. Anyways, this is a quarter mile hike, so not much. We can hear the falls from here, so it shouldn't be too far. This is the upper viewpoint. It's pretty, yeah, pretty it immense. I, was, I didn't think it was going to be this far. Yeah. Look at those giant boulders down there. Yeah. Wow. It's hard to get a good angle here because they have they have a bunch of railings set up. Let's see, maybe over here. Be a little better. We're gonna go down to the lower viewpoint, I think. We might get a better shot of it. It's a nice trail. Yep. Hello. We are at the Lava Cast Forest. It's part of the Newberry Caldera, um, you know, volcanic park, I guess you want to call it. So we're going to head down the trail and see what uh, see what there is to see. Here's the sign right here. And of course, Alex taking a pee in the log drop over there. So well, this is the first part of the trail. Me and Lori are chasing Alec down the trail here. It's a paved trail, so it's pretty uh, pretty easy walking. Something moving in the bushes. Something moving in the bushes. We probably should have brought some bear spray either way, but oh well. I don't think too many bear are going to get us. If they do, what are we going to do? What'd you say? That was a large size tree in yeah, there. It was. It's a large piece of wood. What'd you say, 7,000 years ago this happened? I have Roughly? No idea. We can't find the sign that 7, says it. Seven thousand year old tree. Hole. Hole. <laughs> Sorry, not a tree. The remnants of a tree That's used cool. to be there seven thousand years ago. Alec almost fell in. Almost fell in there. Well, what's up? It looks like a well. It's holy so crap! That is deep. I went over here and I stepped. Around. I was like, holy crap! You wonder, you wonder how deep it was before everybody threw all those rocks in the bottom. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because it's it would be yeah even deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you got in there, it'd be kind of hard to get out. Because I mean, the roots weren't that deep. The, obviously, this was filled up, you know, with yes. all the rock. A lot more lava as it as it kind of filled in this area. Oh. I can imagine the lava coming in contact with the tree and bursting into flames. Yeah. Yep. And then surrounding it and then cooling on the outside. Right. And making a, a cast around it. Mm -hmm. Check out that twisted tree. It grows like that naturally. It's set on the sign to help distribute nutrients throughout the entire tree. That's why it twists. Pretty wild, huh? I wonder if this is where lava flowed through. Mm -hmm. Or if that's just water erosion. Yeah. 
dry grass for winter. Pika. This is crazy right here, this one. Looks like somebody took it and just twisted it up. These trees aren't twisted. No. We don't see any ones that are new. No. The new ones. Don't know. Maybe that one? No, not that one over there. Twisted underneath, and when the bark comes off, but they're not all. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I, don't I mean that one. See that one over there? That one's kind of twisty. One Just with the bark. Yeah. When the bark comes, comes off, off, you see it twisted. twisted. Yeah. Because that one, that one looks like it might be one too. Yeah. Just little. Well, look at this. Okay, okay you get the idea now. The over there is the Newberry volcano. Like and when it erupted. All the lava came out and went right down through this section where we were hiking. You have to come check this out. I think a tree was laying sideways and lava kind of came over it. Oh yeah, check it out. Like a little, it's like a tube. A tube, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is the end of it? Yeah. yeah. Very pretty through here. We're in the shade now. This is a nice loop trail. It's about a mile long. One half of it's, you know, through that kind of lava flow field that winds around here in the shaded area, which is pretty nice. It's pretty. Yes, it is. What up? Come stick your cake. Come stick your head in here. You stick your head in there. I ain't okay. sticking my head in nowhere. You stick the camera in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yeah. where a tree was. Yep. Middle of a tree. 7,000 years ago. Well, this one's different. I don't know if you guys can see that on video, but it's actually got striations, smooth striations in the rock. Must have been from the a bark or something on the tree? I don't know. Something. All right, so our stove is leaking gas. We couldn't figure out why, but the valve was open and the road was so bumpy that it rattled the valve open and started spurting gas out. That's how bumpy the road was. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because the road was really, really bumpy. Yeah. Like ridiculously bumpy. Do we have to add gas to it or do we have enough gas in it? There's enough gas in it for now. Okay. Hmm, that is really weird. Yeah. Anyway, we're just at State Park. What state park is this? This is Lapine, I think. Lapine, Lapine state, state Park. park. This is a day use area, a little picnic area. Wanted to go over to that picnic table and cook, but it's covered in sap from that pine tree. So we're just gonna cook right out here. So, our bread went kind of stale. Yeah, you can hear it's pretty rock hard, but the center's soft. It's like so, a lava cast forest. Yeah, <laughs> so we can just kind of dig some bread out of the center. Yeah. I have my bagels that I bought yesterday, which we're going to make some egg sandwiches with. Yes. We have some bacon. Mm -hmm. Those bagels, they don't look too impressive. They're a weird uh, color. They're a weird color. They're kind of orangish. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's interesting. Yeah. It's I don't know. I thought you put all the bacon no, in there. No, I it is. that was enough, and then you're like, yeah, and I was like, because there's more. Put more bacon in there? Yep. Looks good. Gotta say, that lunch was just meh. Meh. Those bagels were just meh. Meh. No, they, they weren't meh. They were terrible. Yeah, they weren't very good. They tasted like they just took a piece of bread, shaped it into a bagel, put some cheese on it, and that was it. It was weird. It wasn't very good. No, it was not. I'll tell you that. No, it surely was not. So we just ended up taking the bagel off and just eating the egg. Why can't we find good bagels like in Homer, Alaska? I don't know. 
Why? I don't know. Either people don't know what good bagels taste like or they just don't care. Yeah, I, I just don't understand. It's so difficult to find a good bagel. So difficult. Okay, the rattling is back. It's back with a vengeance. Uh, so we're going to come up here and see if maybe we can figure out some other something else. I really have no idea. We're going on a wild goose chase again because we couldn't find any part of the rack that was rattling. So we're going back to the box. We were shaking it around and it was we could get it to make a sound that sounded similar. So we're just going to eliminate it by putting a piece of tape. It's in this part. The box is getting a little bit too close to the to the beam, and whenever you hit a bump, it's rattling. But we're not sure, so we're just going to see. This is Route 31 in Oregon. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon on the 10th of August. We're headed south, right past Summer Lake. It's a pretty big lake, but the water's pretty low, so must uh, need some more water in this area. At 430, State Route 140 in Oregon, going to the east, and man, this is a big storm all the way around us. Route here. The storm looks like it may miss us. I don't know, might get just a few little sprinkles out there. It looks like it's coming at us, but look at this gorge down here. It's beautiful. Hey, we're actually starting to get a little bit of rain here. It's a big drop. Whoa, Jesus. A little windy. I would call that a change in temperature. Oh, there you can see it. 59 degrees. It went from, what, 80 some? Yeah, it was yep. like 86. 86 to 59 degrees. And I would say like five or six minutes. It was pretty crazy. We found a trail off of 140 here in Nevada. We're gonna give it a try and see if maybe we can find some camping in here. It's a um, national wildlife um, refuge here. Here's the spot we chose. Kind of drove off of this little road. No one's been on this road for a very long time, I can tell you that. But it looks like we have some rain coming in a little more. And it's cold out here. It's about 66 degrees. And uh, we still need a shower. So this is going to be a very fun and cold shower. And a 66 degree shower. Are you excited, Dad? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Well, we really, really want to shower though, because we don't want to be smelly in the tent tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're, we sweated a lot today yeah. and yesterday, so it's definitely time for a shower. All right, so how's the shower? Oh, it's cold. Okay, more soap, please. It's, it's very, about very how many cold. degrees outside here? It's like 60 some, 66. Yeah, but you got nice hot water, right? Yeah, it's warm water. I wouldn't say hot water, okay. but I would say nice warm water. All right. Yeah. So and there's no sun, which sucks. But there's At least the no wind's not blowing. Right, but there's, there's no, no wind. The wind was blowing. It'd really be cold out here. Yeah, definitely. What are we cooking, Mom? I'm making the rest of my Walla Walla sweet onions, and you guys are having um, some kind of quesadilla. 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 Yes. You got some tortillas, and some we have cheese. lunch. Oh, there's the lunch meat yeah, we're right, use right in front of me. Meat and some cheese. So that should be pretty good. Here they are. Mmm, look pretty good. Let's try it. Get some sour cream. Kind of dip it in there. Mmm. Mmm, that's actually really good. Is it really good? Oh yeah. Sweet. You need more butter for yours, honey? Yeah. That's really, really good. And I'm really surprised. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. We'll see what you think. What do you think? It's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Huh? Are you done eating over there? Yes. 
I ate all my Walla Walla onions. She cleaned it up. That's it. No more Walla Walla. I know. They were yummy. They were so sweet. It's about, what, 8.30? Yeah, almost 8.30. Out here on the refuge, I guess it is. Refuge, yeah. yeah. In, in Nevada. In Nevada. And luckily, there's no wind, because if there was some wind, it'd be coming across here like gangbusters. And no bugs. Yeah, almost no bugs. It's great. And it's funny, because there's a giant pile of poop over there. Yep. Giant. We don't know what made that giant pile because it's all in one pile mm -hmm. i mean it's hard to believe an animal would poop out that entire pile yeah, that, at once that's a lot that's a, a lot big of pile mess. of poop man yeah it's a big pile of poop so anyway i hope he doesn't come to visit us the person the animal that pooped that out all right Lori? yeah i hope not yeah all right good times hello what up hey there it's about a quarter to nine and it's getting dark really fast. Yeah. And since we can't have a fire out here and it's getting really chilly, we're going to head up to the tent. Yep. Got to brush your teeth though. Yep. All right. Good night. Good night.